Good evening and welcome to the Epiphany of Our Lord Catholic Church. Today is the first Sunday of Advent. Please stand. come together this afternoon at the beginning of the season of Advent. I don't think my mic's on, is it? Does anyone know how to turn the mic on? Oh, here we go again. <laughs> we come together at the season of Advent, celebrating the wonder of the joy the birth of Christ brought to our world. And in so doing, we recognize the many signs and the many symbols that represent the season. The Advent wreath truly represents the eternal presence of God's presence made real for us, having no beginning and sharing in no end. The lights of the candle darken the winter months, bringing the light of Christ to our hearts and opening our minds to the wonder of God's peace. And so now together, we will bless our wreath for the year as we light the first candle. Gracious and loving God, as a people of faith, we journey through this world, celebrating your goodness and opening our hearts to the wonder of your peace. We pray that you bless this wreath, that as the candles lighten the darkness that is around us, we may always be prepared to celebrate the joy of the birth of your Son. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. And let the season begin. Now you can hear me. <laughs> Together in faith as we find ourselves in the wonder of God's peace, let us recall the many blessings we share as we call upon the wonder of God's glory. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, <laughs> may the grace and the peace of God our Father, the love of Jesus Christ, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. As we journey through this season of awareness, we are reminded of God's forgiving love. Together, let us kneel before the Lord as we pray for his mercy and forgiveness.
sin and bring us to everlasting life. And let us pray. Grant your faithful people, we pray, Almighty God, the resolve to run forth to meet your Christ with righteous deeds at his coming, so that gathered at his right hand, they may be worthy to possess the heavenly kingdom. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. You, Lord, are our Father. Our Redeemer, you are named forever. Why do you let us wander, O Lord, from your ways, and harden our hearts so we fear you not? Return for the sake of your servants, the tribes of your heritage. Oh, that you would rend the heavens and come down, with the mountains quaking before you, while you wrought awesome deeds we could not hope for, such as they have not heard of from of old. No ear has ever heard, no eye ever seen, any God but you doing such deeds for those who wait for him. Would that you might need us doing right, that we are mindful in you in our ways. Behold, you are angry and we are sinful. All of us have become like unclean people. All our good deeds are like polluted rags. We have all withered like leaves, and our guilt carries us away like the wind. There is none who calls upon your name, who rouses himself to cling to you. For you have hidden your face from us, and have delivered us up to our guilt. Yet, O oh Lord, you are our Father. We are the clay, and you the potter. We are all the work of your hands. The word of the Lord.
Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. I give thanks to my God always on your account for the grace of God bestowed on you in Christ Jesus, that in him you were enriched in every way, with all discourse and all knowledge, as the testimony to Christ was confirmed among you, so that you are not lacking in any spiritual gift as you wait for the revelation of our Lord Jesus Christ. He will keep you firm to the end, irreproachable on the day of our Lord Jesus Christ. God is faithful, and by him you were called to fellowship with his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. The Word of the Lord. Anyhow, we're starting the season of Advent. And again, with all that has happened this year, it just seems like one more thing is put upon us. But in recognizing what this season is really about, we always need to look into our hearts. Our Lord is reminding us that we need to watch in life. He reminds us that we need to be aware of the world that is around us. And you know, right now, everybody is so concerned about doing what is right and staying safe. We don't spend much time thinking about the world around us. Again, we're all caught up in our own issues in life that we don't watch as to what is going on around us. You know, the whole season of Advent, it's not about preparing for Christmas. The whole season is about listening, watching, and paying attention to life. 
And the more aware we are of the goodness of the life we have, the more alive that Christ child becomes in our hearts. And so at the beginning of this season, we count the days. But in counting the days, hopefully, we can all be just a little bit more aware of the world, the people, the blessings, and the love that is always around us. Huh? <laughs> As all of us find ourselves before the wonder of God's goodness in faith, we profess what it is that we believe. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten God. Unsubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and he came man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and Apostolic Church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I do the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Together in faith, we embrace God's promise of peace as we now offer these our prayers. Our response will be, come Lord Jesus.
Christians, together we pray that our sacrifice may be made acceptable to God, who is the Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of Except we pray, O Lord, these offerings we make, gathered from among your gifts, and may what you grant us to celebrate devoutly here below gain for us the prize of eternal redemption. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For Christ assumed at his first coming the lowliness of human flesh, and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago, and opened for us the way to eternal salvation that when he comes again in glory and majesty, and all is at last made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope. And so, with all the angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim.
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and all the clergy and religious. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with Mary, the mother of God, Joseph, her husband, with the apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever.
takes away the sin of our world, and blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but I can say a word, and my soul shall be healed. Head Start program here in Manesson. 
you know, we don't know the impact that this COVID has had on their families. So this may be at Christmas that all of us have to help them out. So if you're able to take a tag, please do so. Also, everyone or anyone who ordered wreaths, we made them last night. They're beautiful. You can pick them up in the garage immediately following Mass. And also, as you leave church this afternoon, you can pick up a calendar. And once again, we'd like to thank the Bob Billick Funeral Home, the Delfonso Billick Funeral Home, Frank's Garage, and Janice X Pharmacy. You know, for many years, they have provided our parish with calendars, and for them, we are all very grateful. And now let us pray. May these mysteries, O Lord, in which we have participated, profit us, we pray. For even now, as we walk amid passing things, you teach us by them to love the things of heaven and hold fast to what endures. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, with the Spirit. and may Almighty God bless you the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We go in 